823 on this Friday morning. Welcome back to Good Day. Well, consumers are drowning in subscriptions, and it's not just streaming services. Panera, P.F. Chang's, even 7-Eleven have them. University of San Diego finance professor Dan Ricardo joins us live this morning to help us uh, kind of curb these subscriptions. Good morning, Dan. Thanks for joining us. 7-Eleven? We have to have your, what is it, a big gulp delivered right to your door. Right? Hello, Leslie, how are you? <laughs> Good. I don't have a 7-Eleven <laughs> subscription, but I've got quite a few yeah. streaming services, Fabletics. I even have my protein yeah. shakes on subscription. <laughs> Well, you're good. Listen, this thing is crazy, right? And this is a really a cool story. Over the average consumer spends over 200 bucks a month. Uh, you know, I would say that's that's oversubscribed for sure. And as you said, the interesting thing to me is it's not just you know the traditional cable TV or streaming TV services. It's all these other services that have now crept into our life, which really you know I think is obviously on the one hand very convenient for us as consumers, but I'm not sure it's doing our wallets much good. Yeah, so when, what's the best way to get these under control? Because I've also been guilty of like paying for something. I was like, I'm not even using this. Yes, and that's really the issue. I'm glad you said that. Number one, make a list. Go through your, you know, your credit card statement, your bank statement. Look for exactly what it is you're paying for. Most of us have no clue, let's be honest. Um, look for overlap. What I found when I did that was a lot of the things that um, you know this Mercado household subscribes to are already included in other things, whether it be a streaming service or Amazon Prime. So look for overlap. Check out apps like Rocket um, Rocket Money, where you can actually use those apps to discover what you're subscribed to if you don't know, uh, and, and maybe even help you cancel the ones you're not using. So there are ways that you and I can sort of audit what we've got, but we have to start there before we can move on to the next one, which is how do we get rid of the ones we don't want, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and Dan, finally, the reason why for me, I have so many of these and, and some, it, it's just convenience, number one, but yeah. number two, you know, they get you. They're like, if you start the subscription service, you can save a certain amount of money. So are we really s saving on these or is it a gimmick? Yeah. Or, um, you know, sign up now, you get a free trial period. But then, of course, if you're like me, Leslie, you forget to cancel it, right? So, um, as you said, look, be careful about that. Maybe keep your eye on the date, keep your eye on the calendar. Know when that auto renew is going to happen so you can cancel before then. And before you cancel, ask them for a discount. A lot of these companies want you to stay. They might put you in a different tier or something like that or just outright offer you some kind of incentive to hang on there. But um, take a look at your bill this month and see what we're paying for. Yeah, absolutely. Set a money date with yourself, right, is what you always tell us, Dan. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. How romantic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, University of San Diego finance professor Dan Ricotta, thanks so much for joining us this morning. Have a great weekend. You too. We'll be right back on Good Day.